Hello, everyone. Wayne Bennett here with another Fireside Chat. And today I am honored to be with someone that many of you may know. And if you don't know, you should certainly get to know him. Today I am with Robert Tompkins, who is the Group Vice President, General Merchandise Manager of Walgreens. And Robert, you and I have known each other for many years, and it's an honor and privilege to be chatting with you here today. So I know there's a lot we need to discuss. So let's get into it. So, um, Tell me, how is Walgreens becoming more digitally centric? Great question. So, you know, we're really focused on what we call innovative convenience. Uh, you may have seen some of the new capabilities that we've launched for over the last really two years, but have refined really well over the last year, including buy online, pick up in store in every single store in the country. And even more impressively, same day, where we can have product to you like in an hour or less. And in fact, you know, uh, some of us quote numbers that are like 15 minutes. Uh, so same day delivery nationwide, even mm -hmm. our 24-hour stores gives us the ability to give mom her ibuprofen liquid in the middle of the night if she needs it. Uh, ice cream is actually one of our best sellers. But the same day delivery capability backed by trust is a real differentiator for Walgreens. That's great, Robert. Thank you. Very impressive indeed. And I have heard the time delivery number often. So I'm glad that still continues to be a constant. Um, Robert, I've heard uh, your leadership team talk often at various industry events about the uh, commitment to health and healthcare services. Can you tell me why that's becoming such a very important part of the Walgreens flywheel? Another good question, Wayne. You know, uh, health has always been at the, the, the core of our company. Uh, we're here to support more joyful lives through better health. And that's really by reimagining local health care. We all know there's a big opportunity in the U.S. for better care, easier access, and maybe most importantly, better health outcomes. So we're building a, a really health ecosystem with Walgreens Health uh, that goes from our stores with our 80,000 pharmacists all the way to our stores that have health corners where we're allowing nurse practitioners and others to help those with chronic conditions into Village MD, which is a primary care clinic within our stores. We have that in a couple hundred doors now and, and we'll be in 700 stores with those. Our partnership with Shields, in specialty pharmacy, and then also care centrics, which is kind of way upstream in the care continuum with acute home care and senior home care. So this ecosystem is really going to allow us to help patients get to better outcomes locally through the right partnerships. That's now, the flywheel, one thing I just want to add, uh, our B2B partners are really interested in this suite of, of services that can provide better healthcare outcomes. Those B2B partnerships will bring us more patients and customers. That will drive profitability and our, our ability to reinvest into healthcare and getting to better outcomes for our customers and our patients. That's great, Robert. Thank you in understanding the flywheel. And great segue to the next to the next question is: so how is Walgreens staying on top of the right assortments, you know, with the yearly resets and occasional revisions? What are you doing to stay on trend and on point, and especially to help with the amplification of the flywheel? First of all, you know, we've got a really curious bunch of merchants. Uh, it's what I love about our team. Uh, they're very committed to delivering elevated assortments, uh, certainly in healthcare. You know, we're immersed in customer insights, Wayne. Like, we love to focus on the unmet needs of patients and consumers. That's the innovation we get really excited about in health and well being. And, you know, we're a competitive lot. You know, we love to win with new, we've got a great heritage yep. of that. And I think what you'll find is our operations team, our marketing team, and certainly our merchandising team gets very excited about new. And I think we've done a good job making sure that we've got the right insights, inventory, and labor investments to bring innovation to market quickly. Yeah, Robert, I think that's great. And maybe you've touched on it. And I know over the years, we've talked about the cloud and the ability to launch new products at Walgreens is tantamount to the differentiation of, of your retail organization. But why should Walgreens be a primary launch partner for new brands? 
Well, I think we think from an omni-channel perspective. So certainly there are 9,000 stores and our ability to even cluster with those stores, but also walgreens.com can be a very powerful place to put new innovation. Um, our, our team is really passionate about co-developing innovation upstream. And there's a lot of expertise here. We, we like to say we, we see the good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, why not avail yourself of that in working with our merchants as you're bringing new concepts or products to market? Uh, so transparency with us and trust are really important upstream, and we can help build great go-to-market strategies. Good deal. Um, so, you know, I've, I've had a chance to talk to your own brand team a little bit, and, you know, it seems like supply chain issues may be... Um, normalizing somewhat. So the question I have for you now is, what is Walgreens doing from a health and wellness point of view relative to your own brand assortment? Yeah, I'm glad you asked, by the way, I'm glad you asked me about supply. So I want to thank, you know, and I do thank our supplier partners that have invested in supply. We don't think the uh, world is going back to the old normal. <laughs> so the ability to have uh, redundancy and really healthy supp supply is core, I think, to any good partnership that we have with suppliers. From an own brand perspective, you know, we're, we're focused on three things with our own brand, quality, value, and we'll innovate if there's an unmet need we can't find out in the marketplace. Uh, the Walgreens brand is the name on the pharmacist coat and on the door. And we believe that it, it offers a really great uh, brand for care uh, and for value. And Consumers are certainly looking for value now more than ever in a, right. in a, whether it's a pre-recessionary or recessionary environment, own brand has a very important role to play. Right. That's great. So Walgreens has been a tremendous partner to East Sherman Range Me since the beginning. Um, you've been part of these conversations for many, many years, but how does the merchant team leverage the services offered by our company and uh, how, how do we support your business goals? Yeah, I, I think the partnership with ECRM has been has been fantastic. And candidly, Range Me has afforded our merchants a really efficient way to understand what's new and innovation in the market. Uh, we have our category line review process, and I know all of our merchants leverage ECRM and Range Me to see what's out there, to see what they might be interested in. I also know as very busy folks, and they are very busy, the efficiencies that Range Me can create. In, in creating efficient connections, right? To get things going, to get the questions, the meetings, the information flowing uh, has been of great benefit to our team. Yeah, Robert, really do appreciate that. And again, for your support over the years uh, uh, on so many fronts. Um, so I've got one more question, um, but so, you know, our audience does tend to be a lot of the mid-market emerging tail brands. Um, What's one or two after many years of doing what you do? Was there one or two words of wisdom that you can maybe share for an emerging brand out there that's looking to do business with Walgreens? Yeah, I I I, I, I give a couple, I guess. You know, get into our stores, uh, understand uh, the category, what's there now, how to show up well on shelf. Uh, secondly, um, if you want to break through with our teams. It is about explaining the unmet need that you're addressing or the role of your product within the category to our category management team. Be respectful of their time, but hopefully that helps folks uh, break through. The only other quick bit I'll mention is we are hungry for insights. So if you're able to build a partnership with Walgreens, you know we have 105 million people in our loyalty scheme to learn about, to understand, and to who knows, even target with new innovation and be thinking about those things and those capabilities as you come in to present to us. Yeah. And Robert, coming from you, that's meaningful. And I, I know you've had a lot of conversation with a lot of emerging brands over your career. So those are three good points that any emerging brand should really take to heart and listen very carefully to. Um, Robert, I'm sure we could talk for another hour, but I'm going to be respectful of your time, respectful of your time. I really do appreciate you coming to the uh, conversation today to uh, share some thoughts about uh, Walgreens and what you guys are doing uh, to continue to grow and scale. So uh, I appreciate it very much. And uh, we're here to support your team on an ongoing basis, as we always have. So thank you and look forward to seeing you in person real soon. Thanks, Wayne. And thanks for the partnership.